Had to cut so I could keep it short and sweet. <laughs> Let me just wrap this up really quickly and say that, um, you know, even an idiot can see exactly what's going on. Um, an idiot can see that, you know, the U.S. being tolerant or working with Al-Qaeda is um, completely ridiculous. Uh, and it does not take a hero or a martyr to use your voice and say either one, I'm not cool with this, this isn't add up for me, or two, you know, you're in the wrong and we're not going to take the heat for your war and money mongering, basically. That's where we're at. So, um, wish you guys the best of luck. Um, you are going to get exactly what you've given out. So if that is lack of compassion, it's probably what you're going to get. Um, <laughs> if you've been in cahoots and um, carried out violent acts, <laughs> that's probably what you're going to get. Um, and you will probably get, regardless if you are just completely um, oblivious, ignorant, um, self-absorbed, you're going to get the same exact treatment that loony birds like myself that waste our breath gabbing about will get. So if the reason that you don't want to say anything is because you're fearful of retaliation, there's not much to fear. You're going to get the same treatment. So you might as well speak up and do something for the greater good than be a coward and um, sell your soul, really. <laughs> I don't know if there's a, a better way to put that. So good luck, guys, and I will see you next week. Um, I don't know if I can really stress enough that the groups involved in this situation, the National Coordinating Body, the Syrian National Council, um, who is widely made up of the Muslim Brotherhood, um, and the involvement with uh, Al-Qaeda, you know, it doesn't add up. So I'll be back later. Thank you guys. I apologize for the phone and, um, you know, work it out. All right.